So welcome to the Claridge's. This is my first listing that I've ever sold and I sold it again 17 years later. So guys, I've done over a thousand listings in my career and this is my very first one. We're just cleaning this condo now. We sold it and um, maybe DM me for the price. Um, but we actually sold it in 2006. I was a listing agent. My very first listing, I believe it was like August 2006. And we listed it for 200 and. 85,000 and we sold it for 285,000. Uh, it was going through envelope repair and they were just paying for it. I think the, the levy was about $50,000. Even then it was worth it, right? Um, and today the, the price is more than tripled. Okay, so yeah, so let's take a look. So the old school style uh, closed kitchen. You know, that's Anna and her team, the cleaning crew. She just feels really, really weird to me right now. Second bedroom, the closet over here. These are forever views of the trees, obviously. And that's why this was such a selling point back then because it's so quiet. Um, obviously, we have the SkyTrain over there, but you know what? With the uh, um, the windows here, I, we didn't really hear any um, SkyTrain eh, back in the day. Super trippy. Yeah, so all these new towers were not here, obviously, back when we were selling it. Not even those ones, not even those. Oh, those ones were there. Those were 1990s. But those ones, when we looked out, none of them were there Like back, back in 2006. God, I feel old. What I've learned over doing a thousand listings from my first listing is that at the end of the day, um, if you take care of the client, if you really know what they want, um, the listings really sell itself because we're gonna be able to have a good working relationship. If people know that you care, they'll be willing to listen to you, cooperate with you. And if their motivation is at a high level, um, we can get it sold. But if you have different expectations with each other and you don't communicate well, the listing won't sell because you're trying to get the listing sold and they're right here. You're not meeting them where they're at. I was on a team and I split 50-50 with my team leader and my mentor, Philip, back then. So the total commission was $5,000 flat. I made $2,500. That's where the first $2,500 that I made from real estate in the first six months came from. And something else that I've learned from 2006 until today is that the conversation, it really is the same. Um, I'm gonna wait until the springtime. Uh, I'm gonna wait until the market gets better. Um, I don't have to sell. You know, all these things are all the same objections after 18 years in the business, uh, nothing changes. Uh, but we get better as salespeople and we get better as advisors to uh, really educate and inform our clients on when the best time to sell is and really what the best strategy is going forward based on what they want. Because it's always about the client, their time frame, and their motivation to move is not about us. Like if, if I'm really good at selling a home, but they're not really motivated to sell, it wouldn't work anyways. But it takes a lot of listening to the client that really gets the job done. Um, that's what I've learned over the last 18 years, really. There's a trail down there, super nice. Even when it's like minus eight, people are out walking. So it must be really nice. <laughs> if you wanna become a great listing agent, follow our content. It's a lot of free, good sales tips, tricks, and strategies that can help you get to the next level in sales. So follow for more. So what happened was uh, one of my friends from way back in UBC, you know, noticed that I was in real estate and then, you know, obviously you go with your friends and she was also a friend of my mentor and team leader. So we took the listing and I think it took about four months to sell and we closed in December. Um, so back then, you know, that was like my first listing ever. I was super happy, even though I only got paid $2,500 and, you know, full circle 17 years after, um, my mom's friend calls me and says, hey, would you like to take this listing? You were the listing agent 17 years ago and their buyer's agent retired. Would you like to take the listing? I was like, of course, this would be my honor. Um, so myself uh, and my partner, Alvin Wei, uh, we took the listing and as you can see, uh, in about a month and a half, we sold it. So I'm definitely grateful for the journey and you know just coming full circle it's really really weird to really reflect on where i got started my first ever listing and selling it again 
it's it's something weird that I'm, I'm really cherishing and, and relishing right now. It feels a lot smaller for some reason than when I was selling it. I felt like this condo was huge back then, but I don't know. What do you think? Jeez. Good layout though. Yeah. Two bed, two bath. Yeah. You know? It's nice though. Yeah. That's kind of like that old school fireplace. Yeah. A little bit of a fixer upper. Yeah. Looking at the condition of it. I'm glad we got a good price. You learned from your first listing till now about getting listings. <laughs> it comes back to what I do best is prospecting, right? Uh, you have to have the mindset that you're a fanatical prospector. You have to have the mindset that you're a great listing agent. And if you choose to be a great listing agent, everything in your thoughts goes towards that being and all your actions goes towards that. So what I've learned is that you have to declare that you are that person who lists a lot of property first. And then when you work on your skills, everything is going towards that being. It might sound like woo-woo, or like something that is like, oh, you know, just talking shit. But that's how I was able to get a lot of listings was first deciding to be a great listing agent. And I decided that in 2009. So what were you before you decided you wanted to be a great listing agent? I was just lost. Um, you know, I was uh, basically just kind of roaming around. I was getting to the office by 11 a.m. I would be on Facebook surfing because I just learned about Facebook back then. <laughs> but um, once I got into coaching with Mike Ferry, uh, then I really started to figure out and been taught that getting listings and selling listings was the name of the game. And in 2024, uh, Becoming a listing agent, a great listing agent, is how you stay in the game. Yeah, so this is it, man. I'm uh, just reflecting on, you know, 18 years in the business, um, being a young agent, and now uh, in my 40s. I'm 44, sh Definitely grateful for the opportunity to be a real estate agent, earning uh, a career, because I never had the education to be earning this kind of money, so I'm super grateful. <laughs> There you have it, my first listing and my latest listing sold. See you guys.